Hello everyone, it's Monday, you know what that means, more Fallout 4 mods, and today we got more than usual, so let's get started. First up, we got Degenerate Dax Institute Pulse Carbine. It has brand new models and textures, but it does use vanilla animations for the reload, and it has the following attachments, 10 receivers, 4 stocks, 8 barrels, and 11 scopes. And the damage is anywhere between 29 to 199 damage, but it could be more or less depending on the perks you use. It's very similar to plasma weapons in the game, and one thing I love about this weapon mod is that it has heat sinking plasma rounds, or I guess, um, cell rounds, I don't know how to really explain it, but it basically has a built in aimbot. But thankfully it's pretty balanced and fits r really well into the game. And that's why I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, because it really fits well into the game. It, you know, it doesn't feel out of place like some with mods I review. And yeah, just all around, it seems very balanced and just is a well-made weapon mod. Up next is another mod from the Fallout 4 Story Expansion Project team, and it is the Handmade Shotgun. The Handmade Shotgun uses assets from the game and DLC, so you'll need Nuka World and Far Harbor. It looks really good from everything of the sights to the mags look great. It fits right into the game without looking out of place like some weapon mods I review. And it has the following attachments, 5 grips, 13 mags, 5 barrels, 8 sights, 9 muzzles, and 5 receivers. At first I thought this weapon mod sucked, but after I began to customize it, it became one of my favorite weapon mods. It also has a cryo and gauze muzzle that will make it do more damage than it does in this video. Speaking of damage, it does anything between 60 to 500 damage, but it could be more or less depending on the perks you use, and also attachments as well. But yeah, it's a very well made weapon mod, so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5. My only gripe with it being the drum mag requires a coffee tin to be crafted, but moving on. Up next is the Peacekeeper by Zest of Lemon. This mod adds in a standalone replica of the Peacekeeper from Battlefield 1, complete with a extensive animation and sound set. You will need the tactical reload for it to work properly. But it does have a non tactical reload patch, so there's that. The Peacekeeper also doesn't have any actual attachments, but it does have the following. Two materials, four environment sounds, three fancy animations, and four damages that kind of serve as a, as a receiver would. What this gun lacks, it makes up for in its animations and sound, but the only way to acquire it is via console commands, which is why I'm also including Peacekeeper Craftable and Legendary Slot add-on in the description. I also include it because the damage was 132 to 231, but that could be more or less depending on the perks you use and all that. But with Legendary Slot, you can make it a two-shot, which increases the damage even more so that higher level enemies will find peace way quicker. It does take a while to reload, so it's not really a pistol you really want to be spamming, so spraying enemies with lead will most likely result in you missing all six shots, but it's still a 4 out of 5 weapon. Last but not least is the homemade submachine gun by the Fallout 4 Story Expansion Project. The homemade submachine gun has the following attachments, 7 receivers, 7 stocks, 6 mags, 6 barrels, 6 grips, 2 muzzles, and 6 sights. It has a custom mesh and texture along with animations. It, like most of the other weapon mods I just reviewed in this video, fits really well into the game. It kind of reminds me of the 12.7mm submachine gun from New Vegas, but feels very homemade as the title suggests. The damage is 27 to 127 damage depending on perks and attachments you use. It also uses 10mm 38 and also 5.56 rounds, but the 5.56 receiver only shoots one bullet before it has to be reloaded because it's basically a raider just shoving around into the barrel and then just firing it. But yeah, it also has one receiver called the Stupid Fast receiver, or I think it was just called, I can't remember, it had stupid in it, but like the name suggests, it's stupid fast. It just fires out all the bullets just really quickly, and it just tears through the enemies really quick. I mean, you can see it in this video. But yeah, because of that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, because it fits into the game really well, like I just said. And also, it has a really good feel to it, and I'm really interested to see what the Fallout 4 Story Expansion Project team does from here. Not just with the guns, but also, well, I guess mostly because of the guns. But I did like Brothers in Arms, which is another quest mod you should probably check out. But yeah. So that's going to be it for today's video, so if you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more Fallout mod content, please check out my channel. I do videos like this every single week, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.